Good morning, Good morning South Central. Central. School. Today is Monday, January 24th, 2021. Yay. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Fallon. And, and this, this is Trojan News Today. Please stand for the pledge. Today for lunch we will be having Bosco sticks, refried beans, carrot sticks with dip, fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. The second choice each day is the grab and go line. The grab and go options for today are pizza, chicken patty, or meatball sub. On Tuesday we will be having chicken nuggets with sauce. Happy belated birthday to Miss Turner and TNT's own Taylor Smith. to the girls basketball team as they take on Crestview at home. Tip-off is at 5 p.m. Today kicks off our spirit days to celebrate our winter sports. Thanks to everyone who participated today. You all look very cozy and warm. Tomorrow is camouflage day. I know Mr. Oni will like that day. The forecast for today will be a high of 30 degrees with a low of 26 degrees. The forecast for today will be a high of 30 degrees with a low of 26 degrees. There will be snow showers with a 38% chance of snow. Tomorrow there will be a high of 29 degrees and a low of 7 degrees. There will be snow showers with a 42% chance of snow. We have the right mental attitude or RMA all the way. and this is your mobile weather report. Today we're with Mr. Oni on Winter Storm Izzy. Okay, so with Winter Storm Izzy last week, uh, that, that's a type of blizzard called a, a nor'easter. In Ohio, we get two types of blizzards, an Alberta clipper and a nor'easter. A nor'easter forms in the West United States, and then it dips down by the Gulf of Mexico. And while it's down here, it kind of spins, and it picks up a ton of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. Then it moves to the northeast. That's how it gets its name, a nor'easter. Now the path that a nor'easter will take is very hard to predict, and you may have noticed that with that storm last week. It can go uh, come down here to the south and completely miss us. It can go right up the Ohio Valley here and give us some snow, or sometimes it goes right across us and a lot of times it will cancel school for two days. The storm last week went up the Ohio Valley here and gave southern Ohio up to about Ashland quite a bit of snow. I think they had 10 inches of snow in Ashland, um, but we only got a couple, so it didn't close school here, but it was Martin Luther King Day anyway. Um, as far as the weather coming here in the next week, we're going to be a little bit colder than normal for January. The reason why is the cold air mass that's formed clear over the North Pole is going to swoop down over the eastern United States and, and make us colder than normal. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. 